I used to do them a long time ago, but um, I've come back to them because I'm interested in this idea that, um, you know, like art, most artwork, it has a kind of presence and it's an object, you know, regardless of if it's 2D or 3D, and you look at it and you're looking through the object to make it this kind of ash pink, for example. So I'm kind of interested in that sort of slippage as well. So. So all those things are kind of present in um, how I think about the paintings and and why really I've come back to monochrome painting because you know I'm doing these other fanzine paintings and those even with those fanzine paintings you've got two layers you've got a, a rigid geometric layer and then you've got this kind of punk fanzine photocopy rough layer and it's about how these two things and how simultaneity works within those two things. But even with those, they're moving out. You know, it's like a band on stage. Um, it's kind of like a screen, and we come as an audience and we look at them, and what they're producing is actually coming back at us. And it creates this moment of community, and so that's the sort of thing I'm interested in. And, and in saying all that, most people say it's just bullshit anyway. And you were talking about the context where it will be shown with Billy Gruner. Oh like, yeah, so for these ones at Five Walls in Melbourne, it's called Brody Punk Paintings. It's the name of the show. And um, so it's kind of the roadie part's really about this idea that most bands function because of their roadies. You know, these are the people that set up the stage, these are the people that take care of the gear, these are the people that really without them the music doesn't really can't function. Um, so they're kind of almost like a foundation for a building, if you will. So the idea of the show is this idea of um, the paintings become a foundation for this particular type of, as I just explained about my work, um, this idea of how the colour becomes both the starting end point but also a restarting point for how you look at a painting. Um, and so again, it's about that sort of foundational idea and um, I think the punk part just comes from probably being middle-aged and unpopular. <laughs> I quote Billy there. I'm not quoting me, I'm quoting Billy. Um, and I think for Billy, I mean, his, his paintings are, are, are similar but are hugely different to mine. I mean, Billy's really interested in this idea of reductive art and... Um, which I'm, don't get me wrong, I'm super interested in, but also not interested in for myself. So it's, it's kind of an interesting dichotomy that it'll be, you know, one of my monochromes and then with one of Billy's um, duochromes, which is a two-colour hard edge painting, and so it'll just be one of mine, one of his, one of mine, one of his, and it's five of them. So it'll be three on one wall and two on the opposite wall, so nothing on either ends. And so you just get, also you get this relationship that um, when you walk into the middle of the space and you look one side and then you look another side, it's this sort of back and forth. And so what happens is left and right side, you've got these two conversations because the difference in the show, all Billy's paintings are exactly the same, five paintings are all the same colour and composition. Um, and obviously mine are different. So what happens is, is that you get this relational aesthetic occurring between a different colour of mine to the same of his, a different colour of mine to the same as his. So it, what happens is, is that my differences actually become a new way of rereading his same painting. Yeah, and vice versa. <laughs>